In this video, we have to write the equation of the circle in standard form. So the equation given is x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y minus 26 equals 0. So the first thing you have to do in these problems is you want to group together all of the x's and group together all of the y's. So we'll write it again as x squared minus 2x and grouping together the y's, so y squared minus 6y. And then we'll add the 26 to both sides. Boom, there it is, it's 26. Okay, so now we have to complete the square two times. So we're going to rewrite this, x squared minus 2x. Now to complete the square here, you take this number, divide it by 2, and square it. So negative 2 over 2 is negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1. Boom, there it is. Again, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1, and then negative 1 squared is 1, so you add 1. Then you rewrite this piece here, plus y squared minus 6y. Same thing, you take this number, divide it by 2, and square it. So negative 6 over 2 is negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9. Boom, there it is. Again, negative 6 over 2, is negative 3, and then negative 3 squared is equal to 9, so plus 9, equals 26. And then we added a 1 to this side and a 9, so we have to add it to the other side as well, so plus 1 and then plus 9. This piece here has a name, it's called a perfect square trinomial. Okay, it always factors, it's going to look like this. And to get the number that goes here, you just take this and divide it by 2. So negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. You can keep the sign always, okay? Plus, so you bring down the plus, parentheses y, parentheses, and then the 2. Then divide this by 2, so negative 3. Equals, oh, big numbers, 10 plus 26 is 36. I believe this question is going to ask us for the center and radius. So the center in this case, all you do is switch the signs. So switch it, switch it. So 1, 3, and then the radius, you just take the square root of that number. So the square root of 36 is equal to 6, so r is equal to 6. Let's go ahead and type in the answers, and then I believe it's going to ask us to graph it when we're done. So let's see, so parentheses, x minus 1, parentheses, and then to get the exponent, you can hit shift and 6. That's how I do it, without, without accessing these little keys down here. Um, so 2, that's our exponent, and then plus, parentheses, y minus 3, parentheses, and then 2, equals 36. Okay, that should be okay. Let's hit check answer. Got it right. The center of the circle, we said that was 1, 3. So shift 1, comma 3. There we go. I, had I said shift because I, I hit shift 9 to hit the parentheses key. Again, I don't use these little keys here. It's too much work <laughs> having to, you know, use your mouse. R is 6. That's our radius. Good job. All right, now it says use the graphing tool to graph the circle. So I'm going to click this to enlarge the graph. Doesn't, it's not that large, okay. And I'm going to hit the circle graph. That's this one here, so circle. Click the graph to plot the center of your circle. Now, remember, as I hover through the graph, your point shows up on the top right corner here. So we want the point 1, 3. It's right there. And then the radius is 6. I'm just going to go up 6. That's going to take me to 1, 9. You can go up, down, left, or right. It's up to you. I'll go up. Click Save. Click Check Answer. And that's it. I hope this video helped.